Hi everyone. Just came outside for a few minutes. I don't know if it was a good idea. I figured I'd uh, touch base with you. I'm going to um, attach another piece of video right after this on a haul that I got for some rice paper for decoupage. However, I'm not sure it's a good idea coming out here to tell you because you hear all the squawking. Must be a bunch of starlings. I can't see them. I can only hear them. It's just, sounds like a whole bunch of squeaky clotheslines. You know when the, the little wheel goes? It reminds me of. Anyway, um, it's kind of gloomy and overcast today. Uh, I'm kind of like ho-hum today too. I don't know, I guess it's the weather that does that. I'm not in a bad mood or anything. Yeah. Having little moments of feeling okay and then not okay. But my, my blood pressure is probably going a little low today. But other than that, that is it. Uh, Steve went into work. And I'm going to probably after um, gosh, where's my words? Anyways, later I'm going to just take a nap. Noise. Too much noise. Um, I'll probably take a nap just so I can um, kind of recharge or something. Unless the coffee does it. Don't know. Would be nice. Anyway, so what are you guys up to? Coffee's fogging up my glasses. Um, so anyway, the, the video is uh, obviously to do with decoupage. I just really started with this. I'm brand spanky new to it, so I've got a lot to learn, but I just love decoupage. I think it's so pretty. And um, of course, I went whole hog and bought a whole bunch of the rice papers. And if you do decoupage, if you have any tips for me, send them my way. Um, I only made two pieces so far. One, I didn't do a very good job. I got a lot of wrinkles. The other one, I didn't have the wrinkles, but with the rice paper, it's very forgiving because the first one I used was a napkin, which isn't as forgiving. But I did learn, you know, a couple things. I, for some reason, I keep thinking there was something else I did decoupage besides those, but I can't remember what it is. I thought for sure I did something. Hmm. Because those other pieces I did a while back. Gosh, what did I do? Couldn't have worked out too great if I can't remember what it was. I thought for sure I did something else. Oh well. Anyway. Yeah, this girl likes to play in all kinds of things. And I really shouldn't. Because I don't have that much free time to be dabbling all over the place. I should really keep focused, but I have a hard time keeping focused. I get bored easily just doing the same thing constantly, so I have to change that. So anyways, other than that, that's it. Gotta go. Um, I'll attach the video. Okay, so here are the papers. Now I have quite a few, quite a few. So hopefully you'll bear with me. Otherwise you'll have to speed things up or I don't know. Um, I just laid a piece of white fabric down here on the table so you could see the color better because they are a little bit transparent. So if I was to lay it on the stainless steel table you wouldn't see the colors as nicely so that's going to help now um, I got these from oh ASC let me see what's the sheet hold on um, ASC supplies and um, they have their own website and they're on Etsy as well I had ordered them off of Etsy and um, She's got such a beautiful selection, huge selection, really. So I tend to lean towards the um, the florals, nature, vintage uh, styles, but she has tons of them. They're beautiful. And these are basically the Stemperia and the Chowbella brand. 
uh, rice papers. Now I'm just getting started into the decoupage. I'm obsessed with the beautiful papers, I really am. Um, I hope I get the projects done, but as usual, I have so many ideas, little time, but I'm hoping I can get some stuff done. So here we go. Isn't that beautiful, the tulips? I'll show you also afterwards a couple decoupage, my first two pieces of decoupage I've done. Uh, one turned out all right, the other one, yeah, I got a lot of wrinkles. But that's the whole learning process. These are beautiful poppies. Gorgeous. Now I took them all out of the little uh, cellophane sleeves, so I don't know what number or code they are. So if you really like one that I'm showing you, maybe take a screenshot or something. So when you go to the website, you'll know what you're looking for. Beautiful little poppies. Beautiful old dusty pink with roses and butterflies. So there's a little bit of script in the background. Really pretty. So this might take a while guys, I'm just warning you now. And this beautiful, I guess, unicorn, Pegasus. Pegasus, I guess. Gorgeous. In the winter scene. Absolutely beautiful. I really should make something with that one right away because winter's coming, right? And this, look at the colors. How gorgeous. Little birdie in the window. Looks like there's a little bit of old quilt at the bottom here. Just in case you can't pick up some of the details in the camera. Just filling you in. Looks like newspaper print in the window there. Musical background, musical notes. This is Paris on the bottom. And greetings, there's a little greeting thing here. I just love these papers. The, the, the quality is amazing. Now I did notice one when I was taken out of the sleeves. It was a new one. There was a little bit of a flaw in there, but I'll work around it. How beautiful. Show you the wording right there. You can see it. Get in the camera. My hands. See, with it being a little transparent, it's hard to gotta get my hand out of there. Does that help if I'm doing it that way? Without my hands in the back? The light coming through, does that help it, I wonder? I know I'm rambling, but I've never shown these before, so. And of course, I did have to get a little kitty cat, a little vintage kitty. It says Christmas wishes here, but I don't see anything else on it that's Christmassy as far as the flowers go. So I don't know where they're getting the Christmas from, so I can use it for pretty much anything. I'll just take away the Christmas part because I don't plan on making anything for Christmas. So I think it's pretty. It's like pink and an aqua. Or more of a sage, I guess, with it. Got the clock, the butterflies. It looks like um, a dress. What do you call that? Seamstress dress frame. I don't know what they call those things. I just don't know which way you're seeing it the best the details. I apologize in advance for that. And I like these too. These are all like for smaller projects. You just tear out each one for what you might need. And I did do this one with one of my first pieces. Or was it the second one? I think it was the second one. Now some of these I have duplicates of and I, I removed them. At least I think I got them all. Some of them I ordered two of each. So I really went full bore, as I do. So some butterflies and flowers. I hope you can see.
see that. Too bad I didn't have a white board that I could put behind this. I wonder if a white piece of paper would have helped me. I don't think I have one handy here. Hmm. No, I don't. Some butterflies and some dragonflies down here. And flowers. Beautiful. I just love decoupage. There's so many beautiful pieces that could be made. And this says greetings. What does that one say? I have no idea what that says. Some kind of other language. Bonjour here. Um, they're just all little pretty butterflies. Lovely. And butterflies and daisies. It says flower seeds on the bottom here. Gorgeous. Very springish. And all these little circles. Looks like it's all looks old English kind of farmhouses. They got the thatch roof. Very pretty. These would be really nice, I think, on coasters if you were to decoupage coasters or something like that. They're kind of that size. And more dragonflies and butterflies. We have unicorn here. And it says wings to fly where the dragonfly is. Very pretty. And here it says a single dream is more powerful than a thousand realities. Creativity is the greatest expression of liberty. And we got some cute going on here. Flowers, little boy hugging a bunny, the bird, and flowers. Um, we're going to start getting into larger stuff there now. So when you got bigger projects, bigger boxes, or wall pieces you want to do, just very vintage with the roses and the clock. More roses. You can see I'm infatuated with flowers, right? We love flowers. I miss my garden. I do miss my garden. This is beautiful blue. Gorgeous. Uh, this is plant. I don't know. It's kind of all different language. And I think these are wild roses. At first I was going to say peonies, but they're uh, the wild, the large wild roses, I think. So pretty, so pretty. So I hope to make... Um, use of these for some of my containers for my powder puffs, for the body powders. That's the plan. Look at these pretty little birds in the little bird's nest. Looks like there's some um, script in the back. Let's see that. Butterflies and dragonflies. Beautiful. Some more with the dragonfly. That would be a beautiful centerpiece. Little Victorian lady. The roses and a butterfly.
roses. I think you've seen enough roses. All the roses. And adorable little chickadee. Looks like there's musical notes in the background and some florals and lace. And a building here. It's beautiful. Love the color. And another chickadee. This is done almost like a bunch of little quilt bits. Some music notes. Flowers. So pretty. An old bicycle. Flowers and birds and roses and lace. I'm just trying to let you know kind of all the um, little bits that are on there. So if you're looking for something with those traits, there it is. Look at this beautiful bird. Le Jardin, that's what it says there. Very pretty. Of course they're all pretty. I keep saying they're pretty. Well, they're all pretty. And the winter, winter scenes here, there's four pieces and then you've got one nice little strip at the bottom. And all the birds, little village. Looks like a little house way out in the country there. Very pretty. It's all a little postage. Okay, Rachel, stop saying it's pretty. We know it's pretty. The uh, postage mark is there. So these must be like for postcard type things. So I guess you could make your own postcard for someone. That's a great idea. And country life. Beautiful. And these are all a bunch of little tiny ones that you could just take apart for smaller projects or make a collage. Wonderful colors. Honestly, when you go on the website, I preferred shopping on the Etsy site than her website. It was just easier for me to get around. That was just my experience. The website was a little slower loading, so she's got such a beautiful selection. Um, a few hundred of them, I think. And she's constantly getting in new, new designs. Look at the beautiful hydrangeas. Look at the colors in those. My goodness. All right, these are the bigger sheets. I just got a more plain design. I forget what the design was called. So it's just a beige, beigey cream color with the black. Or something a little simpler. Again with the Pegasus and all the florals and the winter scenery. spots to put this paper and roses again oh look more roses and musical notes and for the fairy lovers this is fairy theme going on here. And butterflies. And the big clock. I don't know what I'll do with that. I really don't, but I liked it. And this one would be for a huge piece, I guess. The beautiful blues. I just don't know how well the colors are showing up for you, but they're very vibrant. They're wonderful. 
This is like a big postcard, almost. And more flowers and butterflies. Surprise, surprise. Last but not least is this beautiful blue, the hydrangea, and the cloth, and the birds. Isn't this beautiful? I could do several projects with this one. Okay. So I'll show you my first two projects. One was a real, it's my first one. And uh, I got a lot of wrinkles in it. But I'm learning to figure that how I did that wrong. And I just did a crackle finish. So it's got a beige and olive green crackle. And that's basically to put uh, a powder puff, to rest the powder puff in. I guess you could use it as a trinket box. So, for example, to rest the powder puff in after you're done using it instead of leaving it on the table where there's still powder. And then you got powder on your table sitting there. It just kind of keeps everything here and it looks pretty. So my second one turned out nicer. This is with the rice paper. Um, there was one I did with a napkin, I thought. Is it this one? This one is a napkin. Yes, this is a napkin I used. And I got all wrinkles out of all of it, so that's probably part of the reason. I gotta learn how to use paper instead of rice paper. Just regular napkin is a little more challenging. So this is from one of the rice papers and it turned out really nice. And um, I just did the lavender and ivory cream crackle. Little lavenders in a basket. And it just fits the little powder puff just like that. And this I want to use for my next project. I want to make something, so I got to pick out of all these papers which one I'm going to do. But I think I seen that winter. There was a winter scene there with the uh, Pegasus. I might do that if this is big enough for the project. I don't know, since uh, the weather is fitting do some kind of winter thingy and just make it into a little storage box, which is very pretty. All right, and that is all. Hope you liked my haul, and I'll put the links to this website down below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully I can bring you a project, either making it or a finished project. I don't know. All right, I got to go lay down. I'm not feeling too good right about now, but uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.